Hey guys, this is Mr. Wikowski. I'm one of your school counselors at Central Cabarrus High School. Um, in this short video, I want to talk to rising ninth graders about uh, registration for next year's classes. So first off, I want to tell you who your counselor is. So uh, we counselors at Central Cabarrus work with students by their last name. So um, in this slide, you can see from left to right who your school counselor is. So if your last name starts with the letters A through D, your counselor is Ms. Hand. If your last name is E through J, your counselor is Ms. Palmer Faber. And then K through Q students are Ms. Nelbone. And then I'm Mr. Wachowski. My students are uh, letters R through Z. And then on the right is our wonderful registrar, Ms. Hill. And uh, if you ever come into student services, she's probably the first person that you will meet. OK, so what I want to cover in this video are uh, seven things listed here. I want to talk about graduation requirements and promotion credits from eighth grade, uh, what classes you should sign up for, some differences between middle school and high school. Uh, can you change your classes? And then lastly, what should you do once you've watched the video? So let's talk about graduation requirements. So um, every class that you take in high school counts for one credit. And total credits that you need to earn a diploma is 27. So every student must have 27 credits in order to graduate uh, and get a diploma. And you can see uh, here a breakdown of all of those classes for Englishes, you know, one, two, three, four, four maths, three sciences, four social studies, one health and PE class is required to graduate. And lastly, 11 electives. These are any class that's not listed uh, in the categories above. And in middle school, you call those encores, but in high school, we call them electives. OK, promotion requirements. What does it take to move from one grade to the next grade? get promoted from ninth grade to 10th grade and 11th to 12, uh, 10th to 11th and so on. So to be promoted from eighth to ninth grade, um, basically you get, if you pass, you get promoted onto ninth grade. And then to move from ninth grade to 10th grade, you need six credits. Now you're gonna see in a moment that every, Every year you take eight classes or eight credits, so six you have to pass in ninth grade to move up to the 10th grade. OK, and then to go from 10th to 11th, you need a total of 13 and to move up from 11th to 12th grade, you need 19 credits. So <clears throat> if you uh, took high school classes in the eighth grade, you earn high school credits for those classes, OK? They don't count into your GPA. They don't factor into your grade point average, um, but you do earn high school credit. If you take examples I have listed here, math one or math two or uh, earth science, these are high school classes that you get credit for. In rare instances, students take English one or maybe Spanish one. Uh, but these are high school credits, OK, and they will count toward the 27 that you need to graduate. OK, what should you sign up for in ninth grade? Um, you, as I had mentioned before, you'll you'll end up taking eight classes altogether and you should sign up for an English, one math, whether it's math one or two, a science, whether it's earth or biology, a social studies, which is world history, that health and PE, that one phys ed you have to do in high school, and then three electives or on course. OK, and if you add those up, that's eight. OK, now you also should choose what are called alternates in, in registration. <clears throat> alternates are backup electives. They're not your top choice. These are our backups that we use if we cannot schedule your top three electives. Uh, talking to STEM students with this slide, not a whole lot different. You're going to notice 
um, STEM, you sign up for STEM English 1, STEM Math 1 or Math 2, and then STEM versions of like art, science, biology, world history. STEM students all take design and discovery in the ninth grade and then intro to engineering in the ninth grade and then that health and PE. And then lastly, STEM students only have room for one elective. OK, and if you add these up, it makes eight. OK, so you choose that uh, one elective carefully. And then you will put in to power school when you register online two alternates or backup electives to that one in case we can't schedule that one. OK, for, so that slide is for STEM students. So <clears throat> again, what should you sign up for and how uh, we have a worksheet? On this bit.ly uh, linked page right here. Um, if you go to this page, you will find this worksheet that we want all ninth grade rising ninth grade students to refer to and look at and um, to see what their options are. Go ahead and check. I put a little checkbox so that you can check off what classes you're going to sign up for when you're sitting and looking at power school. OK, we have uh, both a non STEM worksheet and we have a STEM worksheet. OK, and again, we're going to go into this link, find that document, but also in that link is power school so you can find um, where you're going to make your course requests. Let's talk about some differences between high school and middle school. Um, classes in the high school are semester long which means uh, we have two semesters, a fall semester and a spring semester. So in fall, the start of the school year goes from August to December and we take final exams and we're done with those fall classes. And then we we come back for spring from January to May. OK, so the classes, as my example on the bottom here, uh, are semester long, so you will only take them half of the year. So as an example here, I have a student who's doing English, principles of family, human services, health and PE and math one. OK, and then second semester starting in January, they take these four other classes. So you aren't taking English all year long. You're not taking world history all year long. You're only taking it half of the year. OK, four periods a day, just like this. 83 minutes long. Each class is 83 minutes. OK, that's some differences between middle and high school. Can I change my classes once I have put classes in to power school that I want and counselors have built schedules? Can I change them? Well, yes, you can. So on April 24th of this year of 2024, uh, we will deliver um, schedules to the middle school and uh, your counselors will pass those out to you and we'll have an online form so if you see an error in your schedule or if you change your mind about a class you can fill out that online form and then watch your email your school email and counselors will work through those changes if they're needed most students don't need changes because they got the classes that they asked for okay what do you do now? Well, stay alert. So um, I already gave you some instructions about that bit.ly site, that link where you can find the worksheet and where you can uh, put your courses into PowerSchool. We will visit CC Griffin on March 19th, 2024, and then we will visit Jay and Freeze on March uh, 21. And we will work with students to uh, enter all their course requests for next year into power school so we will do that so again there's the bit.ly link to find more information there's a qr code in the top corner there for you to find that same information that and that link that i mentioned and then lastly uh, we do have some events coming up around registration um, so new student at night. So this is rising ninth graders. This is realigned students who maybe we're going to go to West Cabarrus normally, but now they're going to Central next year. March 13th, um, that event is going to happen at 6.30 p.m. on March 13th at Central Cabarrus. And then STEM acceptance night. If you're a STEM student, you should plan to attend this night on March 21st at 6 p.m. at Central. Okay. 
And then the last uh, event coming up is I mentioned this earlier. Every student will get their schedule on April 24th. So you'll pick classes, but then we'll build schedules and on April 24th, you'll get your schedule for next year and you'll be able to see that. OK, so I hope that this video is helpful, guys, um, for you to um, plan and put in your classes that you want for next year. OK, thank you and uh, take care.